Today what we're going to do is we are going to create one of our own optical illusions and this is very simple to do but it's really cool whenever you finish it but so super simple you won't even believe it. So what you're going to do today is you are going to go ahead and you are going to do a wavy line clear across the, to the edge of the paper. You're going to take and you're going to draw bumps and it doesn't have to be even. You don't even have to have it like super together or nothing. It can be just totally random. Okay. Now the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to create seven dots. No less. You can do more but no less than seven dots. So I'm going to take and I'm going to go one and they can be scattered. Okay. Anywhere. So I'm going to scatter them. I'm going to put some close together. I'm going to put some far apart. See, there's four, five, six, and here's my seventh dot. Okay? So you should get something that looks like this. Okay? Now, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to make little rainbows all the way across the top to connect the dots. Um, I used to love connect the dots when I was little. I still do, but um, this is also one of those kinds of things where you connect the dots. And so you're going to take and you're going to go from the, from one dot to the next, and you're going to make a rainbow. So you're going to arc up and around to the next dot. Then I'm going to do another one, and it can be again smaller, bigger, whatever. Okay, I'm going to come over to the next dot and make another rainbow all the way across. So I should have these arcs all the way across, clear to the end. So at first it's going to look kind of funky, but you'll see how awesome it comes out looking. So here, now, on this side and on this side, we don't want to leave it like that. When we come to this side, you can either go up and over this way. You want it to make it look like it's going off the page, like you would finish coming to a dot over here. Same thing here. You want to have it come up and over off the page. So here I'm going to go out and it's going to finish out that line. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to continue to do more rainbows all the way across, but we're going to do a second layer. So now I'm going to come in since I already know how this is going to look when I have it coming from the page from off the page. I come over to the first dot and I connect to the dot. Now, it will come to a point, like on this one, you notice the two lines here intersect, but they don't go all the way down to the dot. I don't want to go all the way down to the dot because then it gets really messy here. I want to take my next arc or my next rainbow and come up and over and go only to the intersection. You don't want to go all the way down to the dot. You only want to go to the intersection of those two lines. So now I'm going to take it, I'm going to go up over, only to the intersection. And same thing. See, notice this one? This one's really drastic. So it's going to stop right here, not at the dot on the second row. So I come up and over all the way to the intersection only. Same thing on the next set, all the way across. And I'm going to keep going, keep continuing all the way into the intersections only. And then off the page. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the next row. So now I'm going to make row three. So here to the intersection, up and over all the way across. What's cool about this particular optical illusion is you can do all sorts of different colors with this and you can do all sorts of, um, uh, like each tube can have its own set of colors. I would do about two to three colors at least on each se segment or on each um, pipe, I guess is what you would. To me, it reminds me of a, an earthworm or a segmented pipe because um, you'll see all these little segments that start to develop as I'm creating 
these arcs or these rainbows. Okay, and then I keep going from off the page to my intersection. Now remember, I don't go all the way down, only to your intersection. And you want to keep it neat because you're going to keep, because you're going to want to color these in. And when you keep it clean and neat, it really gives you that optical illusion effect. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Okay, now when you get to the top, like you just saw me do, you, you don't want to... Um, you don't want to stop or like cut it off. You want to go ahead and pretend like it goes off the page and pretend like it comes back on the page to the next intersection. So if I took my pencil and I pretended there was paper there, I would see where it comes back in. And that's what you're going to do with this, okay? And you're going to keep going all the way across. And then I'll show you something else that's going to happen here that gives it this optical illusion effect. So again, it looks like it's coming from off the page. All right, if you'll notice, this is starting to shrink right here. It's actually gonna come to a point where it looks like it ends, and these two guys on the side are going to come in and cover this. And it looks like you have a bunch of earthworms crawling over each other or these pipes that are laying on top of each other. Pretend like it goes off the page. See how where it comes in right over here and I come back in and go off. Now I have another section that's gonna go off the page, back on the page, and then we start creating. So this one's gonna do the same thing as this one and it's gonna look really cool. Okay, that goes off the page. So now we keep continuing almost there with our top part. Okay, you can already see that that's happening now. Okay, so now this has come to a point where this goes in and it looks like it's going underneath these two pipes. Okay, this is pretty much finished over here, so I'm just going to finish out this section here because you want your entire page filled with this stuff. Okay, you want it to look like the entire page is completely filled. Now I just go to the intersection. Remember, I don't go all the way down. Only to your intersections of the top lines. And this one's starting to fade out too. Cool. It looks like it comes up here. And bump. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop that there. Okay, now you can do a couple things with this. You can either turn this around and continue doing rainbows, or you can keep it that way and do smiles. Now, what I'm going to do here is the exact same thing like you see it coming off the page to connect the dot. So I'm going to do smiles so you can kind of see how it looks that way. And I'm going to go dot to dot again on my center line with my smiles. Some people it's easier to just go ahead and turn the page because that's what you've been doing and it just feels natural and that's okay. That's the beauty of paper, it's portable. All right, so it goes off the page there and I'm gonna continue doing the same thing all the way across. Only to the intersections though, remember? Intersection only. Oop, no, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, I messed up. Now we fix it. 
That's the beauty of the eraser. Okay, goes off the page, back on the page. Okay, on and off. Okay, so now you've got something that looks like this, okay? The next thing that we're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and color these in. Now the way you're gonna do that, now you can do this with colored pencil. I wouldn't use marker, but I would let you use like colored pencils or crayons. Um, I'm gonna choose three colors to kind of play around with a few of these. So I've got purple, I'm gonna do pink, and let's do like a turquoise blue. And you can choose any colors that you want, but pick at least three colors. So, so far, let's see, we have um, those three. So let's, let's show you how you're gonna do the coloring on this, okay? I'm gonna start with my purple, and it doesn't matter what segment you start with, um, you can start from the bottom and work your way up or you can start from the center. For some reason I like starting in the center because then it gives me a way to go and it breaks it up a little easier. Um, I also kind of start in the center of the paper so I'm going to work with this little shape right here. Now the thing about this is that when you work, okay, when we talk about shadowing and shading and we want something that is going to be of a, of a deeper value or a deeper color, then um, what I want you to do on this is you're going to um, press a little harder than normal in the corner. So that gives me a dark look, okay? Now, what's gonna happen if I lift up on my crayon? That's right, it's gonna get lighter. So what I want you to do is you're gonna do a dark tone a medium tone, so I'm gonna lift up a little bit. So it's just kind of a medium. It looks like it's lighter and you can tell, obviously it's lighter than this corner. So I want the middle part to be a tad bit lighter. So lift up on your crayon or marker, or not marker, I'm sorry, crayon or colored pencil um, and lift up a little bit on that and that gives you that medium tone. Then you're gonna go very, very light very light. So I lift up and I just barely press on my crayon to give me a very light color. Okay, and you can even play around with this and just kind of maybe even try to blend this a little bit more so it fades a little bit smoother. You can have harsher lines there or whatever, but I kind of like the smooth look, so that's why I kind of do that. So anyway, so I already did this on the half of this so I'm gonna do it on in this one section. I'm only working with the one section. I'm gonna to go to this corner and do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna do a dark corner. I'm gonna go medium tone, so I lift up a little bit on my crayon, and I can turn the paper. So it's a little easier to work with then. Okay, so see I have that medium tone, so it's similar to this. And then I'm gonna go very, very light, barely pressing on the crayon. Now I wanna leave a white strip in the middle because what that's gonna do is that's gonna be your shine mark on these segments. And it looks like it, it's 3D, okay? So that's where you wanna go with this, all right? So very, very light. So there's my purple and I'm done with my purple. I can go ahead and I'm gonna do my turquoise or my blue-green color 
exact same pattern. I'm going to start dark in the corner. Very, see that dark, how rich that is? I love that. Okay, and then your medium tone, lift up on your crayon. Medium tone and then light, super, super light. Okay, I'm gonna leave that segment right there white because it's close to this. And so it's gonna look like they are curving about the same place. So I'm gonna turn this a little bit and I'm going to go dark in the corner. Medium, so pick up my crayon, pick up my pencil, and then light about up into here. Very, very, very light. Okay, and see there's my shine mark. Okay, so now this is starting to take shape. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is my pink. So I'm gonna go pink, super dark in the corner, medium tone, and very, very light. Okay, same thing on this side, super dark, medium tone. And I'm curving my paper as I go because if you've noticed, I'm following the lines. I'm going up and down and up and around. That way it gives it more of that 3D effect, okay? So you color each corner into the middle for each segment. Look how cool that looks already, okay? So as you keep finishing this, okay, um, I would keep coloring this and you're going to end up with, I have different colors on this, but this is one of my finished projects that I did. You're gonna end up with something that looks like this. Now this I used colored pencils on, but you still get the same effect. So this is the idea that you're going for, okay? So I am going to quit my video here. That way you guys can, can start making your own. Now, you can always pause this and you can hold, uh, keep it on pause if you need to slow down or you need to stop it just so you can catch up um, and uh, so you can finish it out and I wanna see it. Go ahead and submit this and this will be part of your optical art, optical illusion art assignments.